Welcome to the last design tools video of 2023. Today I have some really special tools and resources that I've discovered. So let's just get right into it. All right. So the first major update comes from Spline tool. Yes, the famous 3D tool for UI designers. Now they have introduced particles. Yes, you can now include particles in your 3D designs, animate them to make these bizarre effects that I'm showing you in the background. You can apply textures to these particles, lighting, etc., to make them next level and then embed this on your websites, portfolios, UI designs, etc. Apart from this, Spline has also introduced native support for iOS and Mac. So iOS developers will just be able to pick up these 3D designs and include them natively inside iOS applications. Apart from this, they're also announcing support for Apple's Vision Pro. That means in the future, when the Vision Pro is announced or released, you will be able to develop 3D experiences using Spline, which is insane. So AR, VR experiences are coming to Spline. Last but not the least, Spline is also introducing something called UI designs in Spline. You can create interactive user interfaces in Spline, which affect 3D environments. I'll show you an example here in the video, and it's actually pretty cool because you'll straight up be able to design UIs inside Spline seamlessly and then make them interact with 3D spaces instead of doing the whole Figma to Spline, then Spline to website kind of workflow. Every designer in their life has used used free pick for something or the other. Either it's for downloading illustrations, getting icons. Free pick has launched something called Picasso. So here, what you are able to do is you can draw out anything, either it's sketched out on paper or sketched out on their tool itself. And it takes that sketch and converts it into a final design based on your style requirements. So if you want custom icons, you can draw, draw out an icon and it will create an icon for you that you can use as an SVG. If you're an illustrator, you can just put a rough sketch here and it will create a final illustration for you instantly with the power of AI. So it recognizes what you're designing and it creates a final design editable in various platforms like Photoshop, Figma, etc. from their platform. And it can also recognize basic shapes. So if you create like a mountain with a sun with just triangles and circles, it will create a full high fidelity image recognizing that as mountains in real sun. You can even upload stuff. So if you have a sketch that you've drawn out, or if you have something physical you want to convert into digital, that is also possible. Apart from this, it also has the whole prompt benefit. So if you're into writing prompts and getting results, then that's also available here. Now this month, Figma introduced their first keyboard. Yes, you heard that right. Their first physical keyboard. It was going viral. Now Figma partnered with a company called Work louder, which creates such macro keyboards. Uh, it's called the Figma Creator Micro, which basically has a few keys that are pertaining to shortcuts, etc. on your actual keyboard, which you can just plug into your computer. And in one press, it will do an action in Figma. The entire keyboard is reprogrammable. So you can program this for any software. It's not just for Figma. Now, here is the negative aspect of it, which makes me believe that this is just a cash grab for Figma. Figma is just doing it for money right now. The the same keyboard Work Louder makes without the whole Figma color theme where there's no Figma logos or anything, but the similar keyboard on the same website costs 10 to $20 less, sometimes even more on sale. So the difference between these keyboards is nothing. It's just that the Figma theming is there, the lighting is there. So if you're into Figma goodies and you're a real Figma fan or stan, I would say, then getting this keyboard is fine. But a lot of people were borderline angry that this is quite expensive. $139 for a micro keyboard, which you can pay $20, $30 less to get without the theme from the same company is a little fishy. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? Is it too expensive for what it is? Is it just a cash grab by Figma or am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so you guys come to this channel to check out new tools, resources, techniques, etc. But UI score is doing that 
in website format. So UI score is a library of creative tools, developer tools, design news, illustrations, all in one place. And they also have a newsletter. So you don't have to come to their website every day. It'll just send you a newsletter every week or so. They'll keep on updating this weekly. So you can grab the newsletter for free and you know check all these resources out every week. Mozilla is the company behind Firefox. I, I think everyone knows what Firefox is. It's a very popular browser, a great alternative to Chrome. Now they have launched a tool called Solo Beta, targeted towards solo entrepreneurs, solo designers etc this is an ai powered tool that allows you to talk to it about your requirements your business etc and it can even pick your old website and refine it and improve it now the cool thing about this is that you can you can choose a lot of things up front so it allows you to do fonts colors sections individually and it's a real cool AI tool that with one click will build you not only an entire design system that you can work on with Figma, et cetera, but also quickly creates responsive designs instantly. These are rather simple designs, so they're nothing complex like say, uh, Relium can create or Framer can create. Apart from that, it also has a lot of business tools. So if you're even if you're a designer, you need contact us forms, you need SEO, you need bookings, et cetera. So, it includes all these features with it, which is missing from a lot of platforms right now. Even things like business name, logos, etc., they're doing in one platform. So they're promising that with this one platform, you'll have your entire digital presence online in seconds. This new website is taking the internet by storm. I think this should be the number one design resource right now. Open source UI elements for any project, UIverse.io. UIverse is going to bring developers and designers close. They have thousands, 3000 plus resources, buttons, assets, design elements, animations, etc. I really like this cute little loading status for your website. Now, not only can you get the Figma file for this, so you can literally copy to Figma from their website, or you can get the complete HTML and CSS code for this as well. Neatly organized everything. So you have forms, patterns, tooltips, inputs. Now designers can literally put something cool inside their designs, ask the developer to pick the code up from this website. I think that's pretty interesting. Okay, AI tools are dime a dozen. This tool is leading the way for video AI tools. It's called Pika. And if I show you this video in the background, you'll think this was designed by a Pixar animator or someone. You'll, you'll think this is an actual movie scene or something. Well, let me tell you, this was completely designed by a prompt using an AI. Pika.art has been going viral for the past few months and they finally released their tool to the public. So earlier it was in the wait list. Now you can sign up really quick. And as soon as you type in a prompt, it will take a few minutes, it might take 10, 15 minutes, but it will generate a beautiful result for you. For example, I wanted a man running up to a woman with flowers. I actually wanted to make this for my beautiful girlfriend Simran and uh, send it to her, but I wanted to show you guys this also. You can literally create 3D scenes for your business, for your designs, for your portfolio using this tool. 100% free right now. They're not charging you anything. If there are any pricing policies, etc. in the future, designbuddy.net. Now, designbuddy.net is a really cool plugin introduced inside Figma. And what it does is brilliant. Now, there are already tools that do this for websites, but for Figma, nobody's been doing this. Design Buddy scores your designs based on what it sees visually, overall design, layouts, colors, typography, as well as accessibility, and gives you a score. It also gives you proper advice on how you can improve your designs in real time. So for example, here it says the design showcases a clear contractor onboarding flow yet could benefit from larger titles, enhanced color contrast and clearer te text links for better accessibility. So it's defining what can be improved in this design. Once you improve that, it will give you a better score. It will refresh it and even give you further feedback if needed. Since we're on Figma plugins, one more plugin I want to show you guys. And this one is called Steez. Imagine you have a old UI design. You want to revamp it or improve it. You also want to switch up the icons. You want new icons in your entire design. You just select the icon you want to replace and it will give you 
hundreds if not thousands of alternatives to that one icon so rather than searching individually for each icon online you use this plugin and it will give you a replacement instantly and if you press on it it will just replace the icon and it will fit it right there in the element in your ui design so you don't even have to download anything copy or paste anything it's right there and it's instantly now feedbackwizard.io is like a actual designer giving you feedback on your designs so select any design that you want feedback on and it will give you a detailed description on what is good and what is bad in your designs how can you fix the ux or ui of something you can even ask this wizard to give you feedback on particular aspects of a design so if you want feedback on visuals and ui you can do that if you want feedback on just the user experience you can do that but not the least of course we have design trends of the year by yours truly i've collected all the cool design trends explained each design trend and also given resources to try those design trends on your own in my latest video i'll see you in the next video next week until next time take care god bless